Okay, I know a lot of you don't like the plant topics, but it might be a lot easier for you if you stop brute force memorizing and instead use these memory hacks, which are also what I teach to my students in our tuition class. If you don't know who I am, my name is Keith and I started that bio tutor. We teach O level pure bio students how to ace the subject while making their lives a lot easier. Here's a root diagram. Where's the xylem? Answer coming in 3, 2, 1. If you say here, Good job. A really simple hack to remember this is that xylem starts with X. And this thing in the middle has an X shape, so it's the xylem. The outside ones in green colour is the phloem. Note that sometimes the shape could be slightly different, like a star shape with 5 points. So it's not always a perfect X. In the stem, is xylem at A or C? Answer coming in 3, 2, 1. If you said C, correct. Here's how to easily remember it. Just ask yourself, which is more crucial, food or water? Water, right? You can only go around 3 days without water, but you can survive for weeks without food. So same for the plant, water is more crucial. And since xylem carries water, it needs to be more protected, which is why it's on the inside. Whereas phloem is actually A on the diagram, and because it carries food, it can afford to be less protected. So that's why it's on the outside. In leaf diagrams like this, is the xylem on the top or the bottom? Answer coming in 3, 2, 1. If you said top, correct. Here's how to easily remember it. If you already watched my hack on xylem position in the stem, then you know that xylem is on the inside, like this. And the phloem is on the outside, like this. When vascular bundles connect to a leaf, it bends out like this. So that's why now when we look at the leaf cross section from this angle, we will see that xylem is on top. In this microscope diagram, where is the xylem? Answer coming in 3, 2, 1. If you say B, correct. Here are four clues to know which is the xylem. Number one, it's very bolded in colour because microscope slides are stained with a dye and xylem has lignin and this dye likes to bind to lignin. Number two is that it has a very wide lumen. So lumen is the hole inside it. It looks like thick bubble tea straws. Because xylem is kind of like a straw for the plant, it brings water and mineral salts up the plant. Number three, it has an angular shape, like this one. Though sometimes it's just a wide circle, like a bubble tea straw. And number four, they are stacked on top of one another in columns, like this. So now that you know the heck, where is xylem in this diagram? Tell me your answer below. How to remember what this thing is called in the phloem? If you go to your kitchen, you'll probably find this tool called a sieve. It has many small holes in it, just like the end walls of phloem have many holes. That's why they're called sieve plates. So the next time you're trying to recall the name, just imagine a sieve. Here's a memory shortcut for the transpiration process. Fake vampire drinks red water. A real vampire drinks blood. This guy is a fake one, he just drinks red water. F stands for the thin film of moisture that lines the intercellular air spaces in the leaf. This thin film then evaporates into water vapour so V for water vapour. D stands for diffusers, as the water vapour will diffuse out of stomata into the surrounding air. R stands for replacers, because water now moves from the xylem to the mesophile cell to replace the water that was lost. And that's transpiration already. The last one is W, because a whole column of water is pulled up the xylem from the roots to the leaves, due to transpiration pull. Use this next time you me an open-ended question on transpiration, and you can easily score full marks. Question, if humidity increases, transpiration rate will increase or decrease? Answer coming in 3, 2, 1. If you say decrease, correct. How to remember? Humidity equals to how much water vapour there is in the air. If humidity is high, it's like a very crowded place. It's hard for new people to enter a very crowded place, right? So that's why it's hard for water vapour to exit the leaves and enter the air around it if it's humid. Therefore, transpiration rate will decrease. When there's more wind, will transpiration rate increase or decrease? Answer coming in 3, 2, 1. If you say increase, correct. How do you remember this? Imagine hanging a wet towel to dry. If there's wind or you blow a fan at it, it will dry faster, right? So a plant will also dry out faster when there's wind. Therefore, transpiration rate will increase.
If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Also, help us to get to 1000 subscribers so that I can disable all the annoying YouTube ads. YouTube has this requirement that you need 1k subs, then you can do that. So please help me out and that's a promise that once we reach that, I will remove YouTube ads forever from our videos. If you'd like our free pure bio notes or you want to sign up for a trial lesson, then just click the link in the description. I'm trying this new thing where you don't have to pay anything upfront for a trial lesson. Only pay after you decide to join as a student. That way you only pay for it if you like it.